she's a woman. She'll grow up, maybe get a job in her degree, definitely get a husband, have as many children as he pleases. She'll know that managing her family comes before any superficial need she thinks exists. Her duty as a woman is to be a loving wife and mother. No. Yes, I am a woman. Yes, I'll get a job in my degree. I might get a husband or even a wife. Who's to tell? Surely only time. For right now, I'll focus on my doctorate. I'm thinking psychologist, but after seeing Kamala, maybe I'll go for president. And don't start with women are too emotional. One thing I love about us is we can take over this whole world out of spite to sexist men and still be seen as less emotional. See, women are on the journey of a power grab. We've always been powerful, but men try to push us aside, especially if we dared to be melanated at the same time. Wait, wait, wait. We never said you couldn't be powerful. You can do as you please in the ways that we say. You're a great wife and mother. It's so nice to come home to a hot plate with my name on it. Stop reaching for these roles. It's not as easy as you assume. Plus, men are just able to think a bit more clearly. There's no monthly distraction, and you're the one that's supposed to be more caring for the children. That's why you belong at home or in a more suitable position. Try nursing or caregiving. Hold up. So my personality is caring enough for a child, but not a company or a country. Please tell me you see the irony. Shouldn't someone in charge of laying down the law be caring enough to make sure these laws are just? In case you are wondering, the answer is yes. That's why women today are putting your old thoughts and stereotypes to rest. Like Kamala Harris being vice president and Alexandria Cortez putting men in their place, making sure they realize that their sense of entitlement will no longer be tolerated. They give young women like me hope. We know now better than ever before that we can succeed in any role that we please. I have a better understanding of what it means to take up space, never letting a man look down on me or interrupt me when I'm speaking. I will forever finish my piece and expect silence to ensure you're listening.